Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in The Sims 4, I am building a duplex. And um, in the middle of building this, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe one is like a professor's building, I guess, our home basically, just a home. And then I think the right side will be for like college students, so they're all roommates. And I will say, I don't exactly know the difference between like a townhouse and a duplex because I know like a duplex is like two buildings together, but like, I don't know, I've been told like a duplex has to be multiple stories and I always thought it was one because like I live in a duplex I at least I call it a duplex and it's only one story so I don't know I feel like if it's two buildings next to each other are attached then yeah it's probably a duplex regardless of the stories and then I feel like maybe a townhome or townhouses is more than two like right next to each other and you know they're tall I guess multiple stories I guess or yeah like multiple stories and yeah you just have like a row of them and then like a complex is just like multiple apartments so like there might be apartment downstairs and others upstairs etc and yeah I don't know um what made me think of this is basically I saw a picture on Pinterest and I was like oh that's a three-story home that's kind of nice so I decided to turn it into two and unfortunately we are not decorating the um university student side yet just because like that would be a very long video and right now I'm doing this voice over Saturday night but I'm gonna be posting this on Wednesday and yeah, I should probably edit it and schedule it so that way I don't have to like do it in the middle of the week and everything and that should be good. But yeah, we just do the exterior and the professor's side and I'm thinking they are, uh, honestly, I didn't think too much to it. I just was like, oh, maybe they write, maybe they're, an, um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, I'm a terrible an English teacher. Okay, yes. I don't know why I was struggling to do that or say that, I guess, or name it. But then I was also thinking they have a partner and my in my head when I was building or doing the bedroom, I saw this plaque from the get to work pack and I think it was like my first simoleon or something and you unlock it from... I guess having a retail and maybe unlocking a perk or I guess buying a perk I'm not really sure but I was like oh maybe they craft a bunch of things and they sell them at a retail shop I think that could be fun so on the third floor I gave them like a crafting room basically so they have like the fabricator um they have the jewelry or the gemology table I guess they have the woodworking table and they have an easel so I just like they can just sell all of that in their shop. I think that's fun. Um, I guess it will be kind of hard to sell the fabricated stuff just because like you can make beds and those are like very big. So you would probably need a very big, um, I guess, store for that. Um, but hopefully that's good. And they have twin infants and that is not fun at all. That is so boring. I honestly would hate I just hate having twins in The Sims. Like, since we got infants, having twins in The Sims ha is just worse. Like, I definitely prefer toddlers. Like, before infants, toddlers were just a nightmare to me. But now I love toddlers. Like, I never thought that would happen, but now I love them. And they also have a child, so that is nice. And I think it would be fun for me to create them. So let me know if you're interested in that because... With the side on the right, like, it's just like a bunch of college students and I think that could be very fun because they'll be very different. Barry, or Barry, I said Barry, I'm so sorry. They'll be very different, basically. They'll have different personalities, different interests, different, I guess, favorite colors. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking of like a goth teen I, or not teen, it doesn't have to be a teen, a college student, young adult, but I was thinking they're kind of, they like dark colors basically. I don't want to go all the way into goth, or I mean I could, I just, I don't really, I don't know if I, like if I make the sim, I don't know if I can achieve that, so I don't want to like be like, oh they're goth, I don't want to call them anything, but yeah, right now we're working on the floor plan, it did take me a couple of tries, but 
Yeah, I put the Grim bike that we got from the Reaper Rewards in the front of the college side just to like remind myself like, oh, they definitely have this bike. And I think I'll give them the Grimophone as well so like they can summon Grim. That might be a little too much, but I thought that would be fun. So I'm looking forward to furnishing their side and yeah, just making the Sims. I don't actually, I think there's four bedrooms, right? So like, yeah, there's four bedrooms. So I think... We will have four college students living on the right. I could have five bedrooms, but I decided that like maybe the downstairs room could be like a work room. Like maybe it just has like some desk in there. I don't know if I can fit a lot. Like I can try to squeeze in two desks. I feel like they can definitely fit a desk in their room, but I think it would be nice to just to have like a desk area because like they'll probably have their laptop on the desk in their room so i think that is fine and right now we are just i guess looking for where the landscaping is going they have a nice little garage on the left and of course the college side is only gonna have bikes because i think that makes the most sense because you imagine if all four of them had a cars like a lot of them would have to just park on the side like only one car can fit but right now we are choosing i guess some planter boxes but we are finally moving on to the interior basically i just paint the flooring and i believe i add like oh well no i guess i add more landscaping so i lied my bad we add some flowers at the front and yeah to be a professor i believe you need like the research and debate skills so obviously we have a bunch of mirrors in this house so that is fine and then i just put like a chess table outside so that way um you know they can get their logic skill up and also i just feel like a professor living next to a bunch of college students is like the worst like that has to be awful um for both of them kind of like like part of me is wondering like do they throw parties or are they like oh, maybe we shouldn't this is weird our professor is right next door we can't throw any parties here they're gonna know like you know like i just i don't know we'll see how the sims turn out i don't know like are there are they all new are some of them best friends are one of them exes with another i i don't know i haven't thought that deep into it but i kind of love the style i go for in the professor's apartment because i don't know i feel like it's very different from what i usually go for i guess and i um, a couple of, actually no, a couple of days ago, no, yesterday I posted an autumn cottage and I don't really know if it's that autumn to be honest with you because I don't know. It's just like when I think of autumn, I think about like a dark brown color and I just, I don't know. I chose like a light brown flooring for that autumn cottage and I don't know. It's just like, okay, like for, if we're going to be realistic here, like, you can decorate your home for fall doesn't mean, you know, you have the right wall colors or the right floor colors, etc. to, you know, have it be the best fall house you've ever seen, right? So, yeah, it's just, that's not really realistic all the time. So, I don't know. I don't think I did a good job. I don't know. I kind of like it. I like it. I like it. It's just, I don't think it's really as autumn as it is. Even though I'm definitely gonna, like, put it as an autumn cottage on the, or I guess I'm gonna name it that on YouTube, basically, is what I'm trying to say, but I don't think it is. Or it is a little bit. I'm not sure, but maybe I shouldn't talk about that here in this video. But I don't know. I think I did very well. And I will say, I feel like I probably um built this pretty quickly i don't know i feel like sometimes when i build i'm very unsure so like i stop and i stare and like usually i always look at the outside again like i go back and forth looking at the outside and that can definitely be annoying sped up so i don't think i did it that much in this build at least not that you can tell because i did cut some things out um just because like the video would be too long if i didn't i did show you um, I did show you me decorating a bathroom, but then the rest are just copied over, basically. Um, just the ensuite has a single shower and the other ones have a tub and shower combo, so that's the only difference. Um, but yeah, like, bathrooms are so boring, usually. I just, I don't know, I don't think they're fun to decorate. They're a bathroom. They don't have that much personality, I would say. Um, 
but yeah and then i also think the professor in their free time i think they like the fish i didn't really give them that many fishing objects i just got that one like fishing rod decoration from the everyday clutter kit and i will say yeah this is not going to be a limited pack build because i just i don't think it would be fun if i were to do that i don't think it would be fun for me personally um, I don't know, like, I could definitely maybe limit my packs a little bit more, I guess. It's just so hard, because, like, if you're trying to go for a certain style, a certain look, or if you know what you want, it's just, like, I don't know, like, I just think I should use whatever makes the build look good to me, you know? But, I mean, like, when I think of a limited pack build, I usually, are like, I usually think, like, maybe one pack or two packs or three packs or whatever, right? Mainly one or two packs or no packs, just base game. And, I don't know, I could, like, limit myself to, like, maybe five packs or even ten packs. That would be better than using basically all the packs. I don't really use all the packs. Like, that's very much... Um, I just, I don't use Batu, so that's good, I guess. Um, the, the flooring of Batu can be really good, though. Um, I'm just saying, like, it's good. The flooring is good. I think it's nice. And, yeah, um, the living room is coming together pretty well. And I did place down some placement furniture before this just to see, like, where everything would go and if it would look well. And I think it's very fun and interesting. Unfortunately, they don't have a dining room, which is sad, but I feel like sometimes you just don't have space for a dining room and you just have to deal with it. I do think it's kind of ridiculous that you have a three-story house and yet you don't have room for a dining table. That's kind of sad, honestly, but it's fine. And yeah, I just want to say the radios don't really slot anywhere. Like, I think they slot to like the coffee table, but I couldn't like it's just so annoying. They don't slot to like the TV console table. So I had to like raise it up. Um, I did use the red shelf to get it to the exact height. You could probably use like, I don't know actually, I don't know. Cause they don't, they only slot to the coffee table basically. So I don't even know if they slot to like the dream home decorated shore or shelf. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. I'm so sorry. Or like the base game bathroom towel shelf. I don't know if they slot there, but I did use the red shelf to help me out a little bit. But yeah, they just don't slot and it's kind of annoying because if you alt place them, your sims won't dance because it has to be slotted. And I think that's so stupid. Like, I can understand it with the books. Like, because when you alt place it with the books, they you your sims can't get the books out of it, which I can understand. So you just have to like open it and get the book out for them. But with the radio, it's just like you have to slot it to something. But like, I mean, I don't really want to put it on my coffee table all the time. Like, I just don't think that looks good all the time. But anyways, we're working on the entranceway. And for this townhouse, I actually used a different lighting besides the saucer lights. I replaced them with this base game light, which I think is very nice, very realistic. I don't know if I'll keep that going in the um, college townhouse apartments. Honestly, I don't know. Like, maybe this side of the building is more... I don't know I want to say old and then the other side got some tiny renovations like just the light the light just got renovated they just are renovated I don't think that's the right word the light just got taken out and they decided to go for something more simple maybe that's fine and to be realistic I think it would be nice to copy the kitchen over to the other side but I don't know if I want to like keep the bathrooms the same because I feel like it fits this apartment very well, maybe a little too well, but I don't know. We'll see. Like I can keep the counters because they match the floor very well, but I don't think I want to keep the bathrooms the same. I don't think I want to use like the same, I guess, what do you call them? The same appliances? I don't know. Basically, I don't want to use the same shower, sink, toilet. Um, I could probably use the same toilet, but I don't know about the sink and shower. I mean, I did use it. I mean, the things I used were nice, so I could use it. I just mainly think about the flooring and, like, the tiles on the wall that I used. I don't know if I want to, like, pass that around. <laughs> I don't know if it looks good because I haven't built it yet, so I don't know if it will look good. Because, again, like, all the bedrooms are probably going to look very different. So, I probably want to go for, like, a plain, simple bathroom. 
and not something so I guess I don't know like I feel like the bathrooms are pretty I guess um plain I don't know I I don't know I just I'm thinking of like a white bathroom basically but here we are cluttering up the kitchen I think it came out well I gave them a coffee maker because they're a teacher you know they're up late grading papers um maybe not who knows but I thought that was nice and I love how the child's room came out I think I tried to go for like an autumn theme I don't know I thought it was cute it's like autumn time so I wanted to do that and yeah and also you should see like the college um side of this duplex in like three days I believe and also this week the gameplay trailer is coming out um tomorrow actually and I am planning to do a reaction video to that so hopefully hopefully if we're lucky I will actually be able to do a reaction to that because that is on my schedule like I don't really have a video ready to post if I don't get to react to it so hopefully I can. Um, I would love to because I didn't get to react to the actual reveal trailer just because like um, my power was out because of Hurricane Helene. So that was not fun at all. Um, I think I did try. I basically did record one because I think the next day I was home and able to. But then I was like, I don't know. I think it was because my internet was out and... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I was, like, happy with it. I was kind of annoyed. I had to use, like, my hotspot and everything. And, yeah, it was kind of bad. But now we're working on the office. And I'm using the rug from Get Famous. I was going to use it in the living room originally. But I don't think it, I don't know if it went well with the couch color I had from Growing Together. Because I really wanted to use that one. And, like, they have double bookcases. They also have a nice fireplace. So I think that's cute. They have like their diplomas, some files, they're looking at all that nice stuff and yeah I put their chess table outside just because that's the only place it could fit. Um, I guess I could put it out on the porch but I decided to put rocking chairs instead because I thought that looked a little bit better and yeah um, this is a pretty simple office space. I'm just changing out the lights. And I guess we should be moving on. There's not really much I can add. I think I add some stuff to like the fireplace and some of those collage photos from going together. And yeah, I kind of go for like a gold accent, I guess. Because like in the living room, I have like the gold um, lamp, I guess. And then like I have the gold ceiling lamp so that's nice and I have the gold picture frame so that is also good and we should be moving on to the second floor now and honestly when I was starting on like the parents bedroom I was court I was kind of like oh thank god I can I I only have to like find a more I oh my gosh I can't speak I'm so sorry this is embarrassing but I was like Thank God, I only have to find one more rug that fits the theme of what colors I was trying to go for. And this growing together one looks so good. And I also got a canopy bed, except it's the one from City Living, I think. And I think that bed is 8,500 simoleons. And I think it has like all tins of like the ratings and stuff. So it's a really good bed. You do sleep fast, which... I'm not gonna lie, maybe a little too fast because I don't like my sims waking up like at 4 a.m. Like, please, I don't want them to wake up at 5, 6 a.m. Like, that's a little too soon. Um, Like, just, I don't like that personally because I think that's a little too quick. Um, And I don't know, I don't want to start my day up so early. But we are still decorating the bedroom. I guess I just change out the lights. Um, I didn't put much in here. I just get like a dresser and a mirror ottoman and that's pretty much it. I did put a door out to the small balcony and I just put a bench to kind of cover up the door clipping because this is on small wall height but I used the medium height door from Discover University because I thought it looked pretty good and I will say I feel like I used 
I feel like I built like a row of townhouses kind of with the same color on the outside. I know it was blue and I know we had a brick. I don't know if it was like the Get Famous brick like we're using right now. It could have been like the city living one, but I know I used that brick and like the, oh, my wallpaper is not fixed right there. I can kind of see it like it's not brick on that one tile wall, but as I was saying, I don't know. I got distracted a little bit. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I went for the dark blue f siding from growing together as well. And then like in the beginning, I caught myself like using the cats and dogs window. And that's when I thought about it. I was like, hmm, I feel like I built something kind of similar like this. So maybe I shouldn't use this window. So I went for the Get Famous one. So now we are working with the bathroom. Um, I used the shower from the For Rent pack. We have so many packs right now. Like, oh my gosh, there's so many packs. And I don't even know if I should talk about this bug in this video because it's kind of annoying. Like, it's so bad. And you should keep in mind, this bug has... It's almost been a year since it's been reported on the forums, but it's only it only has 94 Me Too's. And I feel like they look at the Me Too's to like see what's more important to fix not all the time because i guess some bugs are harder to fix than others um but it's just we're full for one they did post like a laundry list um i don't know if that's like i don't know if the update is out because obviously i am doing this voiceover um on saturday night so i don't know like I don't think there should be an update. I feel like the update will be the Tuesday before the pack because like why would we get an update right now? I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I was kind of upset to see that the nifty knitting bug was not going to be fixed because that's the whole point of the whole pack. And if you don't know what the bug is, basically you cannot resume knitting. So like if your sim starts knitting and they randomly stop for whatever reason, like maybe they have to use the bathroom really badly and they stop you can't resume it so you just get like a bunch of things that you can't resume and you can't even frog it either which basically means to like get rid of it I guess and yeah you can't do none of that so it kind of sucks because I don't know I did have to download a mod to fix it but that's so annoying like I shouldn't have to download something to fix it um but yeah anyways I don't know I wish I really wish that was on the um, laundry list and the bug that I was going to talk to you about before okay so we're on the nursery I know I'm doing a lot of talking but not a lot of talking about the build but I think that's fine because like you can see what's going on um but the bug that I'm like really wanting to be fixed because in December it will be a year since it's been reported and like they're asking for saves I gave them two of my saves that's all I can say is it's just so annoying so basically the bug is basically not being able to like I guess build any walls I don't really know how to explain it but like I was building my I guess my paranormal vampire house um that was a limited pack build it wasn't posted it was posted not too long ago but I was trying to build a basement. I didn't leave it in the video. Um, but yeah, I was trying to build a basement. Nothing happened. I was like, oh, that's weird. Why isn't it happening? So I decided to move an object that I had outside and it disappeared. And then that's when I knew like, oh my gosh, that's when I knew like me, I couldn't do anything to basically save it. Um, so yeah, so what happens is if you try to build a wall or anything, nothing happens. If you go to save or if you decide to go to manage worlds, if you try to save and go to manage worlds, you will be basically it's either you are on a like inf infinite loading screen or like it's infinite saving and it will just sit there and save forever. So like you have no choice but to like force quit. And I just want them to fix it so bad. Like, it's so annoying. Like, I just, I don't know how it's not fixed yet. Like, a lot of people build. I know people are having this problem. There's no way they're not having this issue. And I really need them to fix it. Like, part of me is like, is it a part of a certain pack that make it, that is making this happen? Um, Because, like, that's kind of my thought. Because, like, I don't know. Like... I just, 
I feel like, like, does it have to do with a certain pack? I don't think so. I don't think so because that would be very weird <laughs> honestly if it was due to a certain pack but it's like my thought process is like also is this happening happening on the dev version so like can they have it happen to them because like we're obviously getting the life and death pack this month and part of me is like I don't know they probably hired people to like build for this pack they probably like hired creators to build for this pack I assume so my thought is like, are they having this issue as well? Could you imagine? I'm sorry, that's awful. That is awful, but like, that is just, that should be fixed. Like, that's such a big bug in my opinion. And it only has 94 Me Too's. And I think that's kind of insane. Like, I, I'm i pretty sure more people are having that issue and they're just not reporting it. So if you're having that issue, I mean... Maybe I'll leave the forum down in the description and in my comment section. So I'm just saying, if you have the bug, please hit me too. Maybe post about it. Maybe share your save file. Um, I gave them two different save files. I gave them my building save file and my not so very save file because that happened in that save, I guess. Um, but yeah, it can just be really annoying. So like, I've... I just it's so scary because like I don't know it's so scary to like lose everything so I try to save very frequently like I've been trying to save like after I finish building every single room sometimes I save in the middle of it just because I'm like okay I did a lot I'm gonna save because I don't want to lose this um but right now we're working on the tiles bedroom and I got some season decorations from Debug, um, fall decorations, I guess. So I thought that was cute to hang in the kids' room. Like, maybe they're really into the seasons and they always decorate their room like this, you know? Because they can easily change out their cover sheets to match summer or spring, I guess, or winter. Um, I don't really know. And yeah, I gave them, like, some cookies on this small table and yeah that's kind of it for the room almost I think we're almost to the outside I just add like this blanket basket I assume it's a blanket basket and I got some pillows on the floor and I think we add like a toy box I don't think they can get to it but like you can just open it up and put the toys or pull the toys out for them I think that will be okay and then I got this beautiful fall tree oh um from growing together but yeah we're not on the outside yet I don't know I forgot about this room actually we work on the crafting room so I was kind of thinking like oh should I do music but I was like well you can't really sell music like you can't like go to a retail store and sell music like you can sell the furniture but you can't like sell music <laughs> basically so I was like that's not crafting right now so yeah I have the gemology table the woodworking table and easel and the fabricator so I guess that's pretty nice it would be nice to have like the candle waxing machine but yeah we just don't have enough room for that unfortunately but yeah if you're still watching this video honestly I'm sorry to plug myself but if you just want to like like the video and subscribe that would be very nice of you and I don't know I feel like I'm kind of close to a thousand subscribers and I think that would be very cool if I hit it I'm just saying it would be very nice and also in this closet I got an attic box of course so I thought that was good as well and I feel like I was gonna say something I don't remember oh I was plugging myself yeah I post every day if you want sims content every day I think that would be fun um yeah anyways I don't know I don't I feel weird about plugging myself but I don't think it hurts and also this is the end of the video so like if anyone is here I I mean is anyone here is anyone here I don't think so anyways I'm sorry that's bad I shouldn't say that but yeah we're almost done with this room and then we should be working on the side yard area and I gave them like a pool um I thought that was pretty nice it's good for them oh yes now we're on the patio so that's nice I got a science table out here for the child so that way they can like I guess I don't know do some science experiments and that way your house doesn't catch on fire your porch does 
so that is kind of good and also I'm kind of thinking about making like a student housing just because I think you can like set it up to whereas like oh maybe this organization lives here or maybe this is just for I don't even know to be honest I haven't looked into it but like I felt like I heard about it before and I never did that before for like just a certain I guess group of people so that would be fun as well and I also got some gardening pots because I don't know it can be useful to have I guess I don't really know I feel like usually if my sim is honestly I don't know I feel like I don't usually have my sim garden because I don't really need to to be honest with you like I just really don't like right now I have some gardening pots and I have some things growing in my not so berry save like I have a lemon tree because it's yellow a banana tree because you know it's yellow and I have a rose just for rose generation and I don't need them to be honest with you I don't use them for anything so I don't think it's that useful unless you wanted to make money from it but I just have them growing there. I don't really need them. But yeah, they have a pool. I gave them some lounge chairs. I gave them a grill. And I guess an outdoor seating area. So I thought that was fun. And I probably will make the spot where the garden beds are or the garden boxes are. I'll probably just make it all grass because right now it's all patio. And I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if I like that. But I do add in some trees and everything. And I don't do terrain paint just because like this building is not finished. So, cause I still have to do the right size. So on Friday, I believe when you, or maybe Saturday, I don't really know. Hold on, I have to check. But right now we're just placing some trees. But yeah, on Saturday, I will be uploading this build to the gallery. Cause that's when I post the college side of the duplex and yeah that just makes the most sense but the video is basically over um i'm just like adding more trees i think i add like another roof piece um just to make it look a little bit better but i'm gonna hop into game and give you guys a tour so here are our duplexes so unfortunately for us this does not touch this pavement but basically here we have a car we have marbles for the kids a trash can and we have a bike for the child and then when we walk in we have this very small entranceway with the umbrella table umbrella table no umbrella stand oh we have a thermostat i put three thermostats just because if you're on one of the floors you don't have to like go back down to find it but here's our living room space i really love the colors and i honestly never use these string lights and i'm glad i did because i think it's very cute i love this sitting area that i did and then out on this balcony i have rocking chairs and the science table over here i just have some pictures pictures of Brightchester I guess and this other stuff honestly I don't know what it is but over here we have our kitchen so I guess they can eat here if they need to we have a board and then this is just the rest of the kitchen we have a cork board a coffee maker and then this is the professor's office space so they have a nice fireplace and I imagine that their child made this for them they have their diplomas and yeah everything they need basically when we go upstairs we have our other thermostat a clock and a photo collage this is the shared bathroom and then this is the parents bedroom so they have everything they need a mirror and a dresser this is the balcony where i put the bench and some wind chimes you can obviously still see the door clipping in especially in the ensuite bathroom but that's just very unfortunate yeah but this is the bathroom i went for gold i think that's cute and then over here we have the infant's room um i love it i think it's very cute um i don't know it's not colorful but i love the color scheme though i think it's really nice and then upstairs we have the child's bedroom which i think is very pretty um they have their own desk they have some toys the activity table a dresser a mirror all that good stuff and then this is the crafting area so the fabricator the gemology table the woodworking table we have our easel and then in this room it's just like a storage room so we have like the attic box and some more painting stuff and honestly i really wish they made this like functional 
I don't know about functional, but basically I wish they made it like a chest so you can like store your paintings in there if you don't want to like sell them or anything. I think that would have been really nice if they did that. And oh, we do have a third bathroom. But if you take this side door outside, you walk into the pool area. We have our grill, some gardening pots, a dining table, and our chest table. And then on this side over here, we have our lounge chairs and we have our gardening area. And I'm just going to delete this part because I don't know if that should be patio space but yeah that is the side for the professor hopefully you like it and this is the grim bike that i think one of the college students will have i think is very beautiful but i'm gonna leave this video off here so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye